Today we're unboxing the Ryobi 18 volt one plus circular saw. This is a seven and a quarter inch circular saw. We're gonna unbox it. We're gonna show you how to assemble it. We're gonna show you how to change the blade, but we're also gonna do some comparisons. Now, we're gonna actually compare it to this Ryobi seven and a quarter inch uh, powered saw. So, you know, we got to plug this one in and we're going to see how they do compared to each other. And if you can tell, this Ryobi has been around for a while. We've used it for a while. It is still when Ryobi used to be blue before they went to their sort of iconic green coloring. But make sure you like and follow before we get into this comparison test. <laughs> This thing's a little dusty. <laughs> and yes, I'm wearing a Bucky's hat. Let's see what comes inside this box. So we have our saw. So we got the saw. We got the saw blade, which we're gonna install. And we have this. What's our saw blade fit? There's our saw blade. Okay, and we have this. This looks like some sort of exit port. I'm not really sure. We're gonna have to read the manual and see what this is, where, you, where the dust gets blown out, but let's see. So first we're going to add the blade. Basically, there's a lock to press right here, which we're gonna push in, and we're going to pull back the blade guard, okay? Now, the other thing you want to do is you need to take out your Allen key. Piece of cardboard. You need to take out your Allen key. And you're just going to turn this. It, it detaches pretty easily once you have the lockdown. So we're going to take off the bolt. And we're going to take off this nut that's sitting in front of it. Now there is another piece here that sits in here. The blade is gonna go in between these two. So let's open up our blade. So once we have the blade unwrapped, we're just gonna pull back our blade cover. We're going to put our blade on and we're gonna take our washer or nut and we're gonna put this the bolt back in and we're just gonna tighten that with our Atlin key. We wanna make sure we get this pretty tight. So I'm gonna hit the lock again on the back. Now I can drop the blade guard, but I'm gonna hit the lock again on the back of it to get it in place. And we're just gonna make sure that's tight. There we go. Now we're gonna put our Allen key back so we don't lose it. The only other piece we need to assemble is this uh, vacuum connector where the dust comes out. And we're basically just gonna stick it in here and screw it in. All we have left to do is go downstairs, get one of our batteries, and put it on there. So to do a fair comparison, we are gonna run to the hardware store real quick and buy a new blade for this corded circular saw. Let's go. Since I started this project on this craftsman's house, the closest hardware store is Lowe's. So that's where we're going. I know they don't sell Ryobi, but that's where we're going to get a saw blade. So before you give me grief about my blade choice, this is the closest blade I could find at a seven and a quarter. That was 24T at Lowe's. I know I could have drove the extra 15, 20 minutes at Home Depot, but just want to save a little time today. So many projects in a 123 year old house. So let's see how they cut. We're gonna first start with the Ryobi uh, quarter saw. We're gonna cut through this sort of like uh, 
it's probably about a three quarters of an inch um, furley strip, then a two by four, then a four by four. This is actually um, ground treated, so let's see, it's a little bit tougher. My cut. Not the straightest cut in the world, but there you go. Okay, now we're gonna test our cordless. You definitely could hear the difference in the sound. All in all, these saws actually perform pretty well. They were pretty comparable. Like I said, I added a new blade to this uh, corded saw and the wireless saw did just as well and had just as much power. Definitely could tell the difference in the sound, even though they're both technically electric and one's battery powered and one is, you know, uh, plugged into the outlet. You can definitely tell the difference in the sound. They're about the same weight, give or take, um, about the same to handle. What I would say the biggest advantage of the cordless one was not having the setup I had, especially in a 123 year old house where I had to drag an extension cord out, plug it into the house because there's no outside outlets. This had a huge, huge advantage in that um, aspect. This is an older saw, you know, but it's been around, it's been very durable. I always love the Ryobi tools. They seem to work really well for me. I know other people aren't so fond of them, but I think they're a great line of tools. So guys, make sure you like and follow and make sure you subscribe to our newsletter at ghostchickenranch.com for other great reviews, tutorials, and DIY projects.